Hey everyone, welcome to week four. Now, the exciting thing that's happening now is that we're essentially moving into the final project of class. There's not really any new texts at all. There are only resources that are optional for you if you feel like you need some extra help in terms of your composition. So, uh, it should be a quicker video, I hope, this week. What I plan on doing is just looking at the final project, explaining it a little bit, refreshing you on how to use the TCC databases, and then turning you loose. Now, something I want you to keep in mind is that even though there technically is one more week, which is week five, it's not a full week. So if you look right here, June 29th through July 2nd, that is not a full week, all right? So 29th, you have Monday, the 30th is Tuesday, then you have the first is Wednesday, and then Thursday is that second. So your final project is due not this Thursday, but next Thursday by 11.59 p.m., okay? So make sure you keep that in mind. So I'm gonna click on research right here, and you'll get an overview of everything that's going on. So like I said, there's no new text. Uh, we're just working on the essay. So throughout this course, we develop sophisticated ideas through the implementation of critical thinking and have communicated our ideas effectively using templates to help us learn the ebbs and flows of crafting a persuasive argument. So hopefully by now you feel really comfortable with the makeup of a body paragraph, topic sentence where you lay out your argument, evidence to where you back it up, and analysis where you uh, explain and dive into that argument a little bit more. Uh, so we've analyzed complex texts, synthesized arguments with different types of resources, evaluated the strengths and weaknesses of text, and created our own ideas in relationship to the text. For your final assignment, you will implement all of these skills and enhance them with your own research. Using a film as a foundational text, you will analyze the argument the film makes, synthesize the argument with outside sources to determine its validity, evaluate the effectiveness of the argument, and create your own response to the argument of the film. Okay? Uh, it sounds like really intense, but you'll be fine. Okay, so the directions. Now, I just want to clarify, you are choosing one of these films to watch, right? And based off of some of the interactions that I've had with you in um, Office Hours, it seems like Get Out is kind of the, the lead film that a lot of you want to do right now, which is great. So think of those these three themes that we've been working on throughout the class, whether it is class gender or race, which one intrigued you the most that you think you would most want to write about? And I would choose the film that corresponds with that. So you only have to choose one. Okay. So that's what you're going to, you're going to watch that film. I would do that today. Just knock it out. Then you're going to analyze uh, in the paper and articulate the argument of the film. So what is the film arguing, right? What are they arguing? That's one of the key things that you should be uh, doing in your paper. Then you need to synthesize it. You're going to synthesize the argument with outside resources to determine if you feel the argument made is persuasive and or credible. So once you have determined the argument, analyze it. Is it credible? Is it a good argument? Is it based off of facts and data? Then what you're going to do is you're going to synthesize the argument with outside sources to determine if you feel the argument made is persuasive and or credible. Um, wait, I just said that one. Sorry. So part four, you're going to evaluate the film by offering your respectful and honest judgments, whether positive or negative. Did you like the film? Did you not like the film? Why or why not? And then lastly, create your own argument in response to the film. How could the argument be made better, if at all? What does the filmmakers overlook in what do the filmmakers overlook in their filmmaking? And what is it they give special attention to in order to make the film a success in your eyes? Ooh, a success sin. <laughs> hey, sorry. Uh, why is the discussion regarding this topic important to our culture and our identity in this moment? Okay, and the key part, the creation, this is kind of the bulk of the argument. So this is what I would make your thesis. This is the argument that you are making overall about the film uh, in conjunction with your analysis, your th synthesis, and your evaluation. But this creation part, let that be your thesis, because overall that's what you're going to hit home with in your conclusion. So if it was me, and you're not me, and there's no right or wrong way to do this, but probably what I would do is I would devote paragraphs, uh, either one or more, to each of these. So I'd have a paragraph or two for analysis, a paragraph or two for synthesis, a paragraph or two for evaluation, and then bring it home with that creation of your own argument uh, for your conclusion. Or you could devote your own body paragraph to that as well if you'd like to. Okay. So format. It's got to be an MLA format. Uh, if you don't remember how to do that, I've given you some resources that I'll show you here in a second how to do that. Um, it needs to be in between 
1,250 words and 1,500 words, which sounds like a lot. It's not. You'll zoom through this really, really easily. And you must find at least three outside sources in the TCC database. And I'll show you how to, to do all of that. Uh, make sure you have an MLA Works Cited page and you have to submit to Blackboard by 11.59 p.m. on July 2nd. Okay, so all these resources right here. Do you have to look at all these resources and investigate them? By all means, no, you do not. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that you're equipped with all these things. And like I said before, I don't like overwhelming you with lots of information. And um, so I just try to collect them all in one spot. Do not feel like you have to go through all of these, but they are all really helpful. So if you're thinking, I'm struggling with a thesis statement, great, got you covered. Click thesis statements, explore the resources there. If you're thinking, man, I'm really struggling with my body paragraphs, great, I got you. Uh, this next uh, bullet point, these are for using the TCC databases. I'll go over that real quickly, uh, but all those resources can really help you help you out there. Introductions, conclusions. If you don't remember how to do an MLA sample paper, or I'm, if you don't remember how to do MLA format uh, or how to do citations, this source will help you out. And then these are all videos from Crash Course that can help you out too, the writing process, um, what you're going to write about, how to plan your writing, drafting, revising, all of these things will help you out. So all three of the films are right here. Little Women, Get Out, The Great Gatsby, they're all right there. Okay. Now, essentially what you're going to be doing this week for your assignment that will be graded is you're going to be doing a peer critique. So craft a rough draft of your final essay. So that means you're going to be writing your paper this week and you're going to be submitting the rough draft to this discussion board at 11.59 p.m., not the final paper. That's due next week, okay, next week. So craft a rough draft for your final essay that fulfills the requirements of the composition. It should include an analysis of your film's argument, a synthesis of the argument with outside sources, an evaluation of the film's effectiveness in making the argument, and a creation of your own argument in regard to the subject matter. Make sure to include a specific thesis statement and at least three credible outside sources. So upload or paste your rough draft to the discussion board. Uh, and after reading the essay rubric below, so this is how I'm going to be grading it. So I want you to read through these. Read through those. Make sure you read through the rubric. Then you're going to make comments on your peer's essay by answering the following questions. So you're going to read someone else's paper and answer these three questions. What grade do you think this paper will earn? And be honest. Be honest. Because it's not the grade overall, but if you think the paper is going to get a C or a D where it's at, be honest and explain why. Why do you think that? Justify your argument using direct words from the rubric. So if you think someone is going to get a C because they have a sound argument, but their support is leak or whack, leak or whacking, <laughs> weak or lacking, make sure that you actually quote that element from the rubric right there. Uh, I, I, even just like uh, copy and paste if you need to. Use the exact words from the rubric to explain why you think they'll get a particular grade. And then lastly, how can this paper improve? So be as specific as possible. They've got a weak thesis statement. If it's unclear evidence that the analysis doesn't make sense to you, highlight, copy and paste what they've written and say, you can clear this up by doing X, Y, and Z. Okay. So for this assignment, you're going to be graded on your effort you put forth in assisting your classmate. I highly recommend copy and pasting the words from the rough draft to demonstrate specific aspects that you can improve. So that's what you're doing this week. Now I realize that some of you are probably watching this on a different class. You're seeing all these due dates that say July 2nd and things like that. It's from my June class. Uh, for my July class, it'll be the same thing. You're not going to have uh, a full fifth week, but it'll be shortened as well. So make sure that you're looking at the syllabus to know precisely when everything will be due for your final paper. Okay. So one more thing I wanted to go over before I bid you adieu is to talk about how to use these TCC databases for these outside sources. So I'm going to go to the library homepage. There's a link right there. I'm going to clickety-clack on that. Oh, shoot. Sometimes with these silly links, you got to right-click them and then open the link in new tab. There we go. Okay, so this is the uh, library homepage. So I like the databases right here. They're really helpful. And there's all sorts of ways that you can use the database uh, in terms of how you're attacking your project. So uh, let's say that you want to investigate race specifically. So you'll see here that there's these kind of bolded 
categories, arts, almanacs, business computers. Um, this is under the by subject list of databases. So I like scrolling down. If I'm, if I'm investigating something big like race or gender or class, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to news and controversial issues. And some databases that I really like are um, issues and controversies or Gale and context opposing views. These are really good. And so once it brings you to this database, what you can do is you can search key terms. So if you're doing something like um, race in America, something like that, it'll give you all these different types of articles, journals that you can look from. The viewpoints are usually really good. The primary sources are great. References can be a little bit stale, uh, but all sorts of things that you can look at. Videos are perfectly appropriate too. So let's say that you clicked on one and you found that you really, really liked this particular article and you wanna use a particular quote from it. Just copy and paste it. Go ahead and slap that into a document for your rough draft. But something that's really helpful that'll help all of you out when you're building your works cited page, make sure to look for a button that says cite somewhere. And often you'll find it right there. You can just copy and paste it. Make sure that you're always in MLA, the most recent edition that they have available. So that works really, really well. Um, so if you are, uh, you can also use the TCC catalog. So if you wanna, I don't know, find a particular article about um, Jordan Peele and get out, something like that. You can hit enter and what the, the catalog is going to do, it's gonna give you every article book that TCC has connection to. So you'll get a lot of things right there too. Generally what I like to do is sometimes I'll start with the databases and looking for particular things uh, in news and controversy if I'm doing something broad or um, if you want to do subjects and do something from the arts, JSTOR could be really good if you're looking at a particular film. Um, pop culture studies under arts is really good too. You can also, if you maybe want to analyze The Great Gatsby or um, Little Women, a really good one is to go down to uh, literature, literature, criticism, and interpretation. Bloom's literature is really good. So all these work really well. So that's just a little, little bit of help getting those going. Um, usually with the research component, a lot of you wind up coming to office hours and I wind up helping you through, which is perfectly fine. So yeah, watch this video, see if you can walk through it, and then also use these resources right there and see if you can go ahead and nail down all of your outside resources that are gonna help you determine whether the argument that's being made in your film is good. So, and remember that those, those arguments are going to be respective to the particular ideas. So, Little Women, focus on the argument about gender, the get out, focus on the argument about race, for the Great Gatsby, focus on the argument about class. What are they arguing about those specific themes? Is it credible? How can you either prove that it is credible or disprove that it is credible through those outside sources? And then finally making an overall argument, okay? So, don't panic, don't stress. The writing in this class has been really good. So. Um, let me know if you need help or assistance, uh, connect with me through Google Hangouts between 12 to 2, and I will be more than happy to assist you. All right, y'all have a great week. Hang in there. We're almost done. Finish strong, finish strong.